welcome student thank you very much for showing your interest in watching this video hope it will help you in better understanding of the concept the learning objective are first to define force second to classify different types of forces third to define different types of forces so force in this picture you can see one person is trying to push this object while the other person is trying to pull this object in generally we say that it is they are applying force so definition goes this way the push or pull in an object is called force unit of force newton is the unit of force in mks system dyne is the unit in cgs system types of forces in this picture you can see these two kids are applying force on this cycle by the contact so they are contacting this object and then they are applying the force so one category of force is contact force while you can see in the second picture there are two magnets which apply force without any contact they can apply force of attraction as well as repulsion without any contact so second category is non contact force now muscular force friction force these are the two example of contact force you can see in the muscular force the force is applied by the kids in the form of muscular force they require touch or contact to apply the force while in the second case there is a friction force which is always there between any two surfaces so you can see there are two surfaces and the friction force is because of the contact of these two surfaces so we can define the contact force as a the force which acts due to contact between two bodies is called contact force the examples as we have seen muscular force and friction force next category is non contact force as we have already discussed the magnetic force the force between two magnets does not require any contact so the force between two magnets is non contact force we can see in the next example the gravitational force the force applied by the sun on other planets is without any contact so gravitational force is also an example of non contact force so we can define non contact force as a the force which acts without contact between two bodies is called non contact force and the examples are magnetic force and gravitational force some more examples of non contact force are electrostatic force which we will be discussing in next chapter and the next example is elastic force the force in the spring this topic will also we will we will discuss in 11th class now let us define magnetic force what is magnetic force the force between two magnets is called magnetic force so one magnet apply force on another magnet whether it is attraction or repulsion by the magnetic force or we can define the force between the magnet and the magnetic material is called magnetic force the electrostatic force in high class we will study there are two kinds of charges 
first is positive charge the other is negative charge so the positive and positive charge repel each other while the positive and negative charge attract each other so same type of charges repel each other while the opposite type of charges attract each other so the force between two electric charges is called electric force next the force between two bodies due to their charges is called electrostatic force now the gravitational force the force between two objects due to their masses is called gravitational force the earth have a mass sun have a mass their mass is of very big scale so they apply gravitational force on each other so we can define the force between two objects due to their masses is called gravitational force so we can summarize what we have studied that force force can be categorized into two category first contact force the other is non contact force the contact force examples are friction force and muscular force while the non contact force examples are gravitational force electrostatic force magnetic force and elastic force thank you very much for watching this video keep studying keep smiling and give your constructive feedback in comments thank you very much